Well, here, we could go for dog whistles. Sep, what do you know about dog whistles? Very little. Oh, I didn't mean to download that. Okay, so you know the concept of a like an actual dog whistle? Oh, this list sucks. I've seen a better list somewhere. Which one is it? Hate symbols database. Okay, I hope none of this is like TOS. Here. Games for kids. No. Do you not see the point? Yeah. Well, anybody saying too many POC or minorities outside of a very specific, like, for instance, in, like, Dunkirk, maybe, if, like, half of the soldiers were black, maybe that's a little few too many because, like, Specifically, all those people would have been actually, like, mostly white. Just, maybe that's a bad example. Like, some sort of, uh, very specific, like, time period when people are, like, actually supposed, just were white by, like, 99% of them. You know what I mean? Or like, why would you... It, 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 here's a better example. than Because there were black soldiers, of course. But if, if like half of them are, were women in Dunkirk, half the soldiers were women, there's a problem. Well, here here's the thing. Okay, so, Zep, don't worry. We're, it's educational. Look. So... Obviously, you can recognize some of these. This is obviously the Nazi swastika because it's uh, turned on its edge. Uh, I forget what this one's called. It's like runic something. Um, the, these are all just hate symbols, right? Of course, this is Nazi shit. I'm not familiar with this one. I've seen these two and this one. And then, of course, this one is uh, just, like, anti-Semitic, obviously. An anti-Semitic uh, caricature. So, hate on display. Uh, an overview. So, a lots, lots of Nazis... Uh, like mostly, we're going to be viewing, like, neo-Nazis and shit. But, just, like hate groups they love their numbers they they like to hide make their numbers mean something uh obviously someone act you 100 is very uh is used a lot so most of the time when someone says 100 percent, it's not actually them meaning 100 percent white but in certain contexts 100 percent white 100 percent could could be a bad thing blah 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 so i don't know all of these but okay so here let me get back here uh what's it called what the fuck is it called uh dog whistle 
so you know how a, an, a dog whistle works, right? Like you you blow into it, and it the whistle sound is so high pitched that humans typically like uh, humans don't hear it, right? But because of the way that dogs' ears work, they can hear it. It's just like a specific frequency that humans can't hear, but dogs can. Um, and it can be used as like a training device. <laughs> Whatever. Now, the reason why we would call something like this a dog whistle is because it's meant so that you can use this if you're like racist or something to specifically mean uh, something like say more than what it seems like you're saying so that if people who don't know about the dog whistle they'll just think you're saying something like just like it's a normal sentence or whatever but the people who are in on it will be like they'll be like oh I know you get what I'm saying that's why it's called a dog whistle so uh Let's get to some that I, like, know. So I know that 14... I don't know what 14... I don't remember what 1488 means. But 1488... If you see, like, someone's, um... Username... Like, let's say... Zep... 1488... 1312... That's... We'll get to that, Mapes. Um... So, let's say Zep, your username was Zep1488. If you say that, if, if that's your username, I'm likely to kind of clock you as a potential Nazi in the chat. Of course, it could be coincidental, but the odds of it being coincidental are pretty low. Right? Right? So 1488 refers to the 14 words, which is another slogan, like another thing, we, uh, which is, uh, quote, we must secure the existence of our people, specifically meaning white people, um, and, a, a, and a future for white children. And two, 88 standing for uh, HH. Uh, a hell Hitler, so there's that. So yeah, if you see 1488 in anybody's username or see them, like, type it out, probably a good idea to be a little sussy about that one, because unlike 100%, that number doesn't really have a whole lot of meaning outside of this. You feel? Um... And here, I can share this. Of course, a lot of these, just like that 100%, should be taken with a grain of salt because they are dog whistles, but just, uh, there's, they're also used commonly. Um, as non... Uh, shit. Non-dog whistles. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is good. Also, since this, I didn't realize this is from the ADL. Uh, <laughs> Nazis hate the ADL because, like, it's a Jewish organization or something like that. I don't, I don't really know that much about it, but uh, I know that Nazis hate it. Um, of course we got, let's see, we've got so many numbers. What's the five words? I have nothing to say. A phrase that some white supremacists advocate should be the only words you ever speak to police. You know, what's funny is that this actually is like technically good, uh, in good, but but you you don't even need to say I have nothing to say specifically. Just plead the fifth. Just don't talk. Say I need my lawyer. I want my lawyer, and that's it. 
So technically, this is this is a good thing to say to a cop, but maybe not in these specific words because maybe the cops might know about the five words, which apparently is a uh, thing. No, yeah, it's very good to know about these, uh, like, hate symbols and, um, dog whistles and shit. Because this is, this is how you, the, the, this is, the, the thing about fascists or Nazis and etc., neo-Nazis and stuff, hate groups, is they typically, at least pre-Twitter, <laughs> or pre-Elon Musk Twitter, X, I guess is now what they're calling it. Um, you couldn't get away. People would realize, like, if you just openly said something anti-Semitic, they'd be like, people would be like, yo, dude, uh, you suck. What's your favorite number, Mapaz? It doesn't matter. It's still it, it the, it's just a number still, especially the two digit shit outside of 88. That one's a little If you see 88 in a in people's uh usernames maybe less of an extent than 1488 you should still potentially just maybe look at what they say with a, like, think about what they say. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a Nazi, at least not as much as 1488 would. Uh, 43. It's a numeric symbol used by members of the racist skinhead group, Supreme White Alliance. Oh, by the way, there are a lot. There are, like, a shit ton of like groups it's kind of crazy how many there are if one substitutes substitutes numbers for the letters in the initials 1923 one then adds those numbers together the total is 43 yeah i wouldn't worry too much about 43 mapaz that's very very specific Yeah, right, so <laughs> Well, we knew that we were crazy, but we didn't know they were that crazy. Uh, 9% is a numeric white supremacist symbol that refers to the percentage of the world's population that is purportedly white. So, here, here's why this is significant. Uh, there's a thing called um, the Great Replacement. Oops, I keep using the wrong... Uh, great replacement theory. Uh, NPR? Uh, sure. Great replacement is a conspiracy theory that states the non-white individuals are being brought into the United States and other Western countries. Basically, like, Europe. Um... To replace white voters to achieve a political agenda. It is an easy way to work out. Just get on it for like 30 minutes. You're not going to... Uh, well, yeah, relatively easy. You're not going to like build a whole lot of muscle or anything like that. But it's like good for like getting your heart rate up. Burning calories. It's, it's essentially the same as riding a bike or going out and walking. The only problem with it is that it's a lot easier to not get on it. Cause, cause, or it's a lot easier to get off of it, like, earlier. Whereas if you went for a walk, you still have to walk back. It's the only problem. But yeah, this is a huge, huge thing to remember. Um, great replacement. If people are talking about, like, black or brown people, etc., taking over, or being, like, uh, there's a higher percentage of non-white people, 
they're probably talking about the great replacement theory. And that's essentially what 9% is referring to. 9% white people in the world or whatever. Okay, and so this is kind of getting back to what um, Mepaz said. The acronym, acronym ACAB stands for All Cops Are Bastards and is a slogan of longstanding in the kin skinhead culture. Sc uh, subculture, because non-racist skinheads may use this acronym. Non-racist skinheads may use this acronym as well as racist skinheads. Should be uh, carefully judged in the context which it appears. Okay, I don't know why it says non-racist skinheads. That doesn't make sense to me. But, this is true. ACAB, especially during like the Black, right, uh, Black Lives Matter uh, protests and stuff, is a... Uh, it doesn't necessarily... It, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it's like Nazis. That you're a Nazi if you say it. I've said a cab. It just ref it it just means fuck cops. That's basically what it means. But I guess skinheads or whatever for whatever reason. I wonder why. Don't like cops. So, which is like probably the only based thing about skinheads that I can get behind. But it's like probably for different reasons. Anyway, uh, American Front, that's this one. The American Front is a long-standing racist skinhead group. In recent years, most of its members have been from California and Florida. Now, don't confuse this with the anarchism symbol. Or the anarchy. It's, uh... They're clearly... It's... It looks kind of like it, but it's not. It's different. It's just... This is... This just means anarchy. Two different things. Um, the, you, you can tell the difference because this one's like a crosshair. Kind of like, uh, this up here. It's like they, they, they brought this one right here and like kind of fit an A in there and a little bit to make it look like an F almost as well. So you got the American front, blah, blah, blah. For the most part, you don't really have to worry about, um... Learning all the different, like, neo-Nazi groups, like the Advanced White Society. You don't really need to worry about learning about specifically all of these. The Alabama Aryan Brotherhood. Just, like, the main ones that you'll be seeing are the ones that you really need to worry about. Um... Oh, yeah, they, they, they tend to like, like, Romans. Like... Something about the Nazis was that uh, they didn't like so-called degenerate art, right? Meaning, essentially just, they didn't like abstract art or surrealist art or, like, impressionistic art. They only, the only art that, like, Nazis were able to, like, appreciate or at least they thought they appreciated, was, like, like, Roman statues and shit like that. So, in fact, if you see someone's, like... Of course, this isn't always the case, but more and more, especially on Twitter, I've noticed, uh, after Elon um, took over, uh... The more, particularly male, uh, Roman, like, statues that you see in, like, people's, like, uh, um, like, as their avatars, 
Yeah, it's almost always a uh, no bueno, a no go. Um. Like this face. Forget the red, but a face like this, like like a profile. Or like here, Roman coins. Shit, I have two keyboards. I keep typing shit. So like, kind of like this shit. You'll see the avatar, like, it'll almost look just like this, just without, like, the letters and shit. And maybe higher detail and stuff. You, uh, should just kind of like the 1488 and the 88 in someone's username or something. Just kind of go, hmm, and then think extra about what they say. Well, here's the thing, Solace. Uh, I think they argued that the first Reich was, like, Roman people. Like, you know how there's the Third Reich? First... Reich. Monka. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire of the German people. <laughs> it's, like, literally a callback. Because the Romans, like, went to, like... They expanded westward, of course, right? So, yeah... Kind of manka. But yeah, they, the only art that Nazis apparently can can get behind is like ultra-realist, specifically Roman art. They'll constantly say like, oh, this was uh, the uh, peak of human art. It's everything from here has been downhill. Society's degrading, blah, 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 blah. You hear what I'm saying? Anyway... Uh... Of course, the ones with, like, literal... Uh... Swastikas, pretty easy to clock. Look, we've got this, like, crosshair kind of looking thing. It's like some sort of runic thing, I don't know. Uh... To uh, uh, th that's a recurring symbol. Okay, yeah. What's this one? Adam Waffen Division is a neo-Nazi group that emerged in 2016. It's the German world of uh, for atomic weapons, and the group's logo features a radiation warning. Yeah, th this one, this one can be a little confusing because, like, a shield kind of shape in and of itself that's just like a shield shape right kind of common and then also the nuclear symbol just another common like symbol but yeah I, I don't know I wouldn't worry about this one too much unless you specifically see that like little dip right there on the right they love their Nordic runes you're right Yeah, Solus, you're right about that. Uh, okay, let's see. Boots and laces. Racist skinheads prefer wearing steel-toed work boots, typically with red or white shoelaces. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, I've never, never thought about that, but it's true. Like, for example, uh, what's it called? Pink Floyd... The wall Nazi scene. God damn it. Here, let me put the gaming keyboard over there. 
and the other keyboard here. What is this track called? Small pieces of my brain swapsies. <coughs> and then uh, there's the timestamp. This is my favorite album. By a... Uh, by ankle pants how do I save from here or share whatever yeah just just go to the just go to my about section and click ankle pants What was I saying? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pink. Floyd. The Wall. Nazi. So, like, this is a perfect example. I, I was hoping we would see, like, boots. I, I see I've only seen the movie once so I don't really remember if we saw boots or something but this kind of fit this kind of outfit it's no icky wicky lollipop so sad whatever fun fact uh this scene uh, which is condemning fascism nazis etc literally about world war ii like the nazis right are like expanding on that uh this actually inspired a nazi group to like use the hammers as like their logo or whatever it's so stupid good movie though Pink Floyd The Wall. I actually don't like the album, but I like the movie. I don't think the album's bad. It's just... It's, uh, I, I don't like it. I prefer Wish You Were Here. And Metal. Burning Cross. Burning neo-Nazi symbols. It's Yeah, 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 yeah. Confederate flag. We know all this. Coors Family Skins, what? <laughs> ah, here's one that you will see online a lot. Uh, so, like, let's just say, like, who's a Jew? Who's a Jewish person? Right? Uh, I think I've done this on stream before. A Adam Sandler. So, Sandler. You do that. And that is someone pointing out that Adam Sandler is Jewish. Because they don't think of them as... They're called the echo signs. But you could call them like the triple parentheses, whatever. We know what you're talking about. Uh, so the echo, as it sometimes is called, is the online use of anti uh, by anti-Semites of multiple parentheses around a person's name to indicate that they are Jewish, or when used around a phrase or term such as banker, to imply the word Jewish should be added to it. So yeah, it's not just gonna be like people's names and stuff. Like, you can literally just say, like, like, they. And that is, if I were a neo-Nazi, that's me, like, saying to somebody, like, the people in chat, that they are the Jews. 
etc. So yeah, just be careful with the echoes if you see that in forums. Uh... La 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 la. Well, here's a Nordic rune right there. Okay, they love their German soldier helmets in particular. Um, so probably a good idea to learn like World War One, World War Two, maybe even slightly before that German soldier helmets. Um. They love that. In fact, like, Board Eight Club German Helmet. If you know anything about the Board Eight Club, uh, uh, NFTs. There are a lot of them with German helmets on. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, look. La 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 la. Okay. And of course, crypto people, for whatever reason, are Nazis, for the most part. Hate, obviously, just means hate. Oh, look, here's what I was talking about. Look. Hammerskins. Large racist skinhead gang with a history of violence. Their logo consists of two crossed hammers, typically superimposed by the cogwheel. See, this was started because of... I think it, I'm pretty sure this was inspired by uh, Pink Floyd The Wall movie. So, Happy Merchant is like a greedy Jew. Like, ooh, look. They're like... They've got their hands and they're like, ooh, I'm gonna get money. Woo! And so you can tell because of the hooked, no the oversized hooked nose, which, I don't know if you know this, it's a German, it's a, it's a Jewish stereotype to have a big nose. And it also is true that a lot of Jewish people have big noses. Now, the reason why is because Jewish people for a very, very long time uh, have only, like, uh, or in, it's been incentivized to only, like, have children with other Jews. It's just part of the culture or whatever. Right? And so that's why it Jewish uh, uh, being anti-Jew can be racist, not just cuz a lot of, uh, sometimes you'll hear people say like it's not it's not uh racist to be anti-Jewish, but it's like because because Judaism is a fucking like uh What's it called? Judaism is a goddamn um, religion. So uh, if I'm anti-Judaism, uh, Ju that's not racist, right? But the thing is, is that Judaism is uh, like Jewish people are there. There are non-religious Jewish people. Do you get what I'm saying? It's cultural. Ethnic and religious. There are three three different distinctions that all can overlap. Get what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, of course, we all know the Hitler salute. Uh, oh! I don't know this logo, but identitarian. Lots of Nazis will not straight up call themselves Nazis. They'll call themselves something else. One of them is identitarian. I don't actually know what identitarian means. I, I think I looked it up the other way, but uh, the other day, but I forgot. 
Identitarian. Oh, that's the Overwatch logo? Oh, yeah. Lambda. Uh, Pan-European ethno-nationalist far-right political ideology asserting the right of European ethnic groups and white peoples to Western culture and territories claim to belong exclusively to them. Whatever. It's it, 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 it just it's just another word for Nazi, basically. Or white supremacists. It's just that it doesn't if people don't know what that like that it means that. So yeah, if someone says that they're political politically they are an identitarian, watch the fuck out. Uh, here's just a, a German flag, but I should note it has a, an I, this is called an iron cross, which I'm sure will show up soon. Um, in addition to just being like, like a cool looking, just like kind of shape, it actually is kind of like the SS logo and the, uh, Nazi, uh, the, the, the swastika, it's just a little less clockable, I guess you could say, for a lot of people. But yes, this is like straight up Nazi shit that, so be, be careful if you see that symbol. Here it is, Nazi, uh, the Iron Cross. Of course, this one has a swastika on it. Not all of them will. Iron Cross, a famous German military medal. Uh, became a common white supremacist symbol after World War II. But today it's used in many non-racist extremist situations. Which is why they like to use it especially. Because, like I said, it's it's less clockable. Because um, it is kind of a generic shape almost. In many ways. But. just Just watch out. It's okay to be white, racist, um, kind of similar to like white lives matter and stuff like that. Uh, of course we've got the Ku Klux Klan. We all know that. Ah, the life rune. So this is like a Nordic rune. I guess it means life or something. You'll see this on a lot of, uh, like, flags and shit. Uh, just, it looks like a tree, almost. Like a three-pronged tree. Just be a little careful with that. Of course, here's some more love your race. Like, it doesn't necessarily sound racist. It's like, yeah, be, be, love love your race. But it's like, Really? What do you mean by that? Maholocaust? Oh, here's another life rune. See, they'll 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 put the life rune in other things a lot. It's funny, they all kind of have a very similar aesthetic. Fascists. They love the color red. They love Nordic runes. They love like these, like, black kind of shapes, like this right here. Of course, you got the Nazi party flag. No race mixing. Uh, noose. Hangman's noose, a symbol connection, lynching. One of those powerful visual symbols directed primarily at African Americans. Not equal. Here's the thing about this. Of course, this sign actually has a purpose outside of what this means. But, especially in isolation, this very specifically could mean that some people are not equal to other people. So just like, that's another one where you just gotta be like, Okay, what do they mean by that? But 
don't necessarily just call him out for being a Nazi right then and there. You know what I mean? Just, like, keep an eye on it. This is common flag with another Nordic rune on there. Now, you might have heard about this a while ago. The OK hand gesture has been adopted. It's true. It's not just some people on the internet or on the on the news or whatever like going crazy. It has been adopted by uh, white supremacists. However, obviously, most people when they use this, they're just saying okay. Like or hey, all is well. Like for instance, like when divers are like one of them turns back and then sees the other one. They can't talk to each other. So they're going to put up the OK sign. That's like saying, yo, dude, it's good to keep swimming, whatever. So, of course, unless you see it in a very sus suspicious place, there's really no reason to call this one out. Um, but like I said, if you see it in a very suspicious place, maybe you should go, what? Okay, here's that rune from before. Da -da. Pepe the Frog. Of course, this one's just like the OK symbol. Pepe obviously is not a racist symbol. It's just that racist people like him. Um, and they're very specific types of Pepes like this. There's a whole thing like... There's Honkler, which is actually a, uh, so, I think it used to be Peepo Clown, right? But then it was, like, it was brought, it was changed, like, Nazis changed it to Honkler, which Honkler, Hitler, haha, and then Honk Honk stands for HH or Hal Hitler, right? So that brings us to Clown World. Honkler is kind of the face of Clown World. If you see, like, an account or somebody saying Clown World, either they're a Nazi or white supremacists or something like that, or... They have bought into essentially everything that not what Nazis and white supremacists believe, but they don't know it yet. <laughs> and they're just saying things like, so they'll call like clown world. I th uh, yeah, I guess so, Solace. He is bald, right? So, like, Clown World is kind of, it's it's usually referred to, like, they look at, like, maybe the, a video of people doing things that they disagree with, or someone with blue hair, or just, you know, like a black person buying groceries, and they'll say Clown World. Like... Oh, we can only... The, the world that we're living is... We, uh, society is going downhill so much that the only way that we can be living in this world is if it was run by clowns. So yeah, just be careful about clown world. Um, If you see someone say clown world. La 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 la. La 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 la. More iron crosses. An iron cross and a swastika. Oh, this one. Like the black sun, I think it's called. What is that? Nazi sun. No, I know Solace. Symbol. Bla yeah, it's called the Black Sun. Yeah, this one. At first, it kind of looks like a cool, like, Star Wars logo. Like the, uh... 
um, Republic logo Star Wars here. See that? At first, it kind of looks like that, but of course, why can't I click on this shit? Look, you even got the Empire logo. Notice how they kind of look similar? But anyway, it's not one of these. It's a little different. Because it means Nazis, basically. If you see that, like, run or something, I don't know. Um, and so obviously we got that here mixed in with a uh swastika although the swastika is not tilted here which is interesting most of the time then the swastika is tilted ss bolts like i was talking about nazis just like another nazi like uh thing this black skull and bones is one now this one you might go oh come on that's obviously the triforce from uh from zelda but it's actually it actually is a ku klux klan symbol so in particular if you see someone like with this tattooed on them and it's not like filled in with yellow Maybe it might be a little weird. But obviously, if it's just like three gold ones, it's probably just Zelda. So, uh, the troll face obviously has some, some, uh, uh, racist shit. Just like Pepe. Uh, there's another rune here, another black cross with the swastika and the SS. Look, they they tripled down on that one. Uh, Vinland flag. Um, goth metal musician. Oh yeah, Vinland. So like, Vinland is like where the the the. Vikings went to in North America, yeah. They they love their Vikings and they love their Romans. White Lives Matter, of course. You will not replace us. Great replacement sit theory. Oh, is that it? Interesting. There are more, but I guess those are like the most important ones according to the ADL or whatever. Maybe that's even an age document. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> 